Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Heidbrader and this is Lenaway. We're taking that tour around Lenaway County to see some amazing things going on in our classrooms. Students across the county are already starting to apply for college, so we will show you what you need to do to get into the application process. And our students are solving real world manufacturing problems. We'll show you what one student does to make a special part for us here at LISD TV. And as a matter of fact, it's pretty impressive. And do you like cider? I know I do. And our students at the Center for a Sustainable Future are making some fresh apple cider from the trees on our Tipton Highway campus. You'll have to check it out. My name is Christian Deaton from Blissfield High School and today we're making apple cider. So what we do first is we wash off the apples in the sink after washing our hands. Then we cut up the apples into half or into fours and then we put them in the grinder over here and make mash. And what she's doing right now is she's scooping it out, helping them get it into the bucket. Then after that we put it in a cloth and we take it over to the press. And when we press it, they put two wood blocks on top of it. And once they start cranking it, it pushes it down and kind of gets all the juice, yeah, gets all the juice into the bucket. Then after all that, they take it and they put it through a funnel into, the, into whatever they're using, like a gallon jug or an apple jug. And when they're done with all that, they take the rest of the mash and they put it in zip black bags. The learning aspect is, is to show sustainability um, that you can, that, that it actually gives the students a practical look at, at what an apple farmer would go through or an orchard um, where they harvest the apples, they use them and everything's used, the product, the whole product is used. So the students are learning that apple orchards can have whole foods like their apples or if it's another orchard they've got peaches pears this time of year, um, but they can do value-added products. So today we're making cider, which is a value-added product from apples. Um, what, that ha what happens is if apple orchards can't sell their whole apples, they can make other products from their apples. So they can use fallen apples or number twos to create another product such as cider, which is um, a another marketable product. Oh, the kids like it. They seem to be enjoying it. It's something different. It's actually giving them a real good look at, at how it's done. And, and a lot of them may not, never have known that, that before when they've drank yeah, cider, how, it, how the, the process was to do it. I'm Christian at the Center of Sustainable Future, and we just made apple cider. And we're catching it in the classroom. <laughs> That looked like a lot of fun. Those students get a chance to get their hands on all kinds of practical projects every day. And their instructors are always looking for real world applications for each of their lessons. Well, all of those basic lessons help whether you're taking the next step to head into the job world or going to college. And recruiters from colleges all over the region come to the LASD Tech Center and our schools to talk to the students and this is what they found out. Hi, I'm Aaron Gina. I'm here with LASD TV. I'm here at the College Fair today with Mrs. Ritchie, the uh, counselor. What's going on here today? Well, we are having um, the Lenaway College Access Network program, which is the um, College Application Week, and all of our students are sitting down at laptops and talking with college reps from across the state, and they are applying to different colleges. And what are some of the benefits that you hope to have the students uh, grow through this experience? Well, we're really hoping to have 100% of our Lenaway County students, and we're focusing on our Tech Center students this week here, but um, we're hoping to have 100% of them apply to at least one college. What colleges are going to be here today, and what can we uh, just learn from them? Well, we have Davenport College is here today, which is a, a nice fit for us because a lot of our programs at the Tech Center articulate credit with them, as well as Jackson College, Baker College, uh, Lincoln Tech, Yesterday, UNO, University of Northern Ohio was here, um, Washtenaw Community College will be here, and we do articulate credit with all of those colleges. Hi, my name is Monica, and I'm a senior here at the Tech Center. What are you are looking for after you graduate? Um, a dental program. Dental program. And what colleges have you applied to? I have applied to the Jackson College. And what led you to choose uh, Jackson College? Um, well, they have the new program coming out in 2016, 
um, for the dental program. Uh, my name is Brady Griffith. I'm a senior from Pulse Hill High School. What colleges are you looking at today, Brady? Um, well, right now I'm just applying to Jackson. I've applied to a couple more. Looking to apply to Toledo and Michigan State. Awesome. What are uh, some of your um, interests in the applying for colleges? I'm looking to go into pre-med, hopefully. Were there any programs from the colleges you talked to that really caught your eye? Um, one of the programs that caught my eye was probably Toledo's nursing school. Being right there in Toledo with ProMedica and everything just gives me good opportunities to expand in the field. This is not only a Lenawee County initiative, it is a Michigan initiative and a national initiative. We mean college in the broadest sense of the word, meaning post-secondary education. What are, what are you going to do to get trained for your career? We have representatives from colleges, but we also have our military here. We also have some trade and technical school reps that are here so the students can come in, talk to them, actually apply. What is LCAN? LCAN is the Lenaway College Access Network. Um, it's a collaborative initiative that started through the Michigan College Access Network. So we um, actually come into all the um, high schools in Lenaway County um, and we promote basically anything um, to do something after high school. Just to let them know what all the options are out there because there's so much you can do post-secondary. You know, we're just tr here to tr bring people together to try to help and make this a collaborative effort and make Lenaway County um, as much of a you know, college going culture and, you know, like we said, college in the broad sense of the word is post secondary. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like L won't. It sounds like L can. I'm Erin Gina. It's always a good idea to do a lot of research on what colleges have to offer, and it's also always a good idea to apply for financial aid. We can help you fill out those applications, so grab some paper and a pencil because when we come back, we'll give you those tips right after this. I'm Woodsy Owl, and I'm here to tell you about a dirty word, pollution. Help Woodsy spread the word. Never be a dirty bird. Hoo hoo! Don't paint or write off buildings. That's pollution. Give a hoot. Don't pollute, never be a dirty bird. Woo-hoo! Turn your radio down, that's noise pollution. In the city or in the woods, help keep America looking good. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year one in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I'm Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. If college is in the near future for you or your children, well then we can help you out. Our LASD counselor, Sue Ritchie, can help you get through that paperwork in no time. So now, it's time to take some notes. Hi, I'm Ms. Ritchie, the counselor at the LASD Tech Center. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of applying to college. Once you've decided on a school, the first thing you must do is find out the application deadline. You'll find this information on the college's website. Many colleges do not accept applications after a certain date, and some offer particular scholarships to students who have their applications in by a certain date. Be sure you know these deadline dates. The next step is to get an application. Most colleges offer the application online, and once filled out, the application can be submitted online. Most institutions still offer paper or printable applications, so if you'd rather fill it out on paper, call the school and ask to have one sent to you. Once you have your application, take the time to read them carefully. Every college has different requirements and instructions for the applicants. The introduction page will offer helpful hints to guide you through the process specific to each college and keep you informed every step of the way. When you begin filling out your college application, you will need to know your mailing address, your social security number, an email address that you check often, your driver's license number, which verifies your residency, and both of your parents' addresses, if different from your own, along with working phone numbers. You will also need information from your school. It's helpful to have a copy of your high school transcript, 
That high school transcript will have the year you began high school, all of the classes you've taken, and the grades you received in each class. The transcript will also provide you with your overall GPA and college entrance test scores. Be prepared to list all of your extracurricular activities, academic honors and awards, employment information and community service experiences. College applications will ask for dates, positions held, and a brief description of your responsibilities. You will need to request to have an official copy of your high school transcript sent to the colleges you are applying to. In addition, if you have dual enrolled in a college class, request that your college transcript are also sent to the college you are applying to. Be sure to ask your high school counselor for your high school's six-digit school code. Colleges use that code to verify what you put on your application. You will also need to acquire your high school counselor's name, phone number, and email address. Look for the application fee next. Many colleges require an application fee when you submit an online application. You need to be prepared to enter a credit or debit card number or mail a check once you've completed your application. You may be eligible for an application fee waiver if you meet at least one of the indicators of economic need. See your high school counselor for more information about fee waivers. Some applications will require you to write a personal essay. In your essay, you will have the opportunity to focus on one aspect of yourself so the readers can learn more about who you are. Remember that the readers must be able to find your main idea and follow it from beginning to end. Ask a parent or a teacher to just read your introduction and tell you what he or she thinks about your essay. If your college application does not require a personal essay, you might want to attach one to provide information about yourself that didn't fit in other areas of your application. It can also be used to explain special circumstances that have occurred in your life that have affected your GPA or test scores. Once you have completed and proofread your college application, follow the directions of how to submit it to the college. Check your mail and your email often for admission status, and best of luck to you. If you would like more help applying for college, you can contact Sue Ritchie at sue.ritchie at lasd.us. Coming up next, our LASD nurse helps you chase those blues away. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play or even what you wear. You just need to be there. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> Find yours at discovertheforest.org. At some point in most people's lives, you might find yourself on a continual uphill battle, and that can throw some people into a desperate cycle of depression. So how can you get out of that cycle? Our school nurse, Mary Markle, has some suggestions in Wellness 101. I'm Mary Markle, LISD nurse. What is depression? Everyone sometimes feel blue or sad, but these feelings are usually short-lived and pass in a couple days. When you have depression, it interferes with daily life and causes pain for both of you and those who care about you. It's a common but serious illness. Many people with depression never seek treatment, but for most, even those with severe depression, you can get better with treatment. Medications, psychotherapies, and other methods can really help treat people with depression. How do you know if you're experiencing normal sadness or actual depression? Here are a few red flags you might want to keep in mind. First, persistent, sad, anxious, or empty feelings. Feelings of hopelessness or pessimism. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness. 
loss of interest in activities you usually love, fatigue and loss of energy, difficulty concentrating and remembering, insomnia and other sleep issues, overeating or loss of your appetite and the most serious thoughts of suicide and suicide attempts. What should you do if you are experiencing any of these feelings? Tell someone. Your doctor is the best place to start. If you don't have a doctor, local resources may include the Family Medical Center and Community Mental Health. It's okay and depression is nothing to be ashamed of. I'm Mary Markle, be well. If you'd like to contact Mary, just email her at mary.markle at lasd.us or you can call her at 517-265-1689. When we come back, I'll introduce you to our little masters of disaster. It's a fun summer camp, no worries. <laughs> Stay right there. This new dad is picturing a tree house in the sky, but, but he's, he's ignoring, ignoring the instructions. instructions. Good luck, big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. Oh, mom. See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. These kids had a fun time at summer camp here at the LASD Tech Center and they became masters of disaster and learned a lot about science along the way too. We're pretty sneaky. Well, this is the first time that we've hosted a masters of disaster camp focusing on um, different natural disasters that take place all across the globe. Uh, this is a great camp. A lot of hands-on experience. Um, kids are building earthquake towers. We have uh, tornado labs and tsunami labs um, that they're able to work with and volcano labs as well, excuse me. And also the kids are getting some uh, basic iMovie and video editing skills um, as we target all sorts of different careers, giving them exposure to things like being a meteorologist, um, a seismologist, uh, a building engineer, um, structural engineer, uh, and video editor. Um, so they, they get this wide range of different careers um, and see that, uh, especially with the videos, even though that might be something you're doing, you are taking a science background with it and you need a knowledge base to be successful in, in all sorts of variety of fields um, all over. We've been building earthquake towers um, all week long. Uh, we use a kind of handmade shaker table uh, that, that we have that the kids seem to really like. We use it as a way for team building one. It's a great introduction project for the kids to work together. Uh, but then they're also really thinking about why buildings are designed the way that they are. It's much more than just putting up four walls and hoping the thing stays up. Um, thinking about weight disbursement, thinking about um, the way um, buildings are supported, um, but by doing so with very basic uh, materials like straws and masking tape or in uh, another case, toothpicks and clay. Well, this project is you're supposed to be building a building and then seeing if it will stand up to a simulated earthquake. I tried to make it triangular, or the base triangular, and then go up and each level be a triangle. Because I've seen buildings like on big cities by on corners of the street that are triangular. It's supposed to show you like how a building is supposed to hold up. Like you don't want a flimsy design like a stick figure and it will just like fall over. It's like supposed to show you how to make a good building for if an earthquake does happen. That was fun! These hands-on lessons are always a great way to learn some complicated science laws and have fun all at the same time. That's what it's all about here in Lenaway, teaching kids. And sometimes those kids teach us. We had a problem here at the LASD TV and it took one of our advanced manufacturing students to solve it. You will meet my hero right after this. 
Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix the beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika, the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw in the olive, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Welcome back. We take our video equipment all across the county, and sometimes we need a little extra light to see your shining faces. But we weren't able to attach this portable light to our camera, so we asked one of our very smart and clever students to help solve that problem. And guess what? He fabricated a special part just for us. Here's LASD TV's Miguel Gaetan to explain. <laughs> Miguel Gaetan here for LISD TV. Now we here at the television station are having a little bit of a problem on our hands. We have these great new cameras and we have these great new lights as you can see right here. Well unfortunately for us, they just do not want to cooperate. So we're going to go to Advanced Manufacturing and they're going to help us out. Let's take you there right now. Hi, my name is Daniel McCallan and I'm from Advanced Manufacturing, I'm going to help LAS DTV in making a, a, their problem with the part in the shop. I uh, cut aluminum down to 990 thousandths and then I threaded it for, so it could fit the screw and then I pretty much made another base for the LED to sit right on top of it. The most difficult part was probably cutting it down because it was two inches and I had to cut it all the way down to 990 thousandths. Hey, I got a prototype for you. Awesome, let's take a look at it, man. Oh, sweet. Cool, how'd you, um, is this out of steel or is this out of aluminum? It's aluminum. Moment of truth. All right, so far, that's good. All right, not motion. Big moment of truth right now. This is what it was made for. We wanted to make sure our light could fit on here. That should go right in nice and smooth. Oh, man, that's perfect. Almost fits like a glove. Right up there, yeah. Yeah, that's tight. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at him. Hey, Aaron. How you doing, bud? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm living. I'm living with this new light I got. Yep. All right. Great, man. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No so, uh, I need one more. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Isn't that amazing? I just love walking through the halls here and I'm truly impressed by the resourcefulness and talent we have from our kids all across Lenawee County. Maybe we need to get our marketing and entrepreneur kids involved to see if there's a market for specialized camera attachments just like this. Isn't he a hero? Well, that's our show and thanks for sharing time with us. If you see something amazing going on right here in Lenawee, well, we want to know about it. Email us at lasdtv at lasd.us. I'm your host, Kelly Hydebreeder. Make it a great day, Lenaway. Mm -hmm.